Alright, welcome YouTubers. What we're doing today is a little Order of Battle Pacific. And we are going to do the new DLC campaign of the U.S. Marine Corps. U.S. Marines. After naval battles of Coral Sea Midway, the U.S. have decided to take back the initiative in the Pacific Theater. As a vital part of this expeditionary force, the Marine Corps is expected to lead the way. Semper Fi. Okay, the U.S. Marine Corps is America's amphibious spearhead. It tends to assault and capture enemy-held islands and coastlines. Fresh from military training and carrying only limited supplies, the Marines are now en route to the Japanese outpost on Guadalcanal. Okay, Salmon Islands, August 1942. Earlier this year, the Japanese have established a harbor and seaplane base on Gavatu, Tanobago, and Tulagi. Our planned invasion of Guadalcanal, 17 miles to the south, requires the liberation of these islands. Hells yeah, let's do it. Alright, let's start mission briefing. The U.S. Expeditionary Force has arrived on schedule due to bad weather undetected by the Japanese. After splitting the force in two, our group is tasked with the assault on Tulagi and Gavatu Tanabagoho. Yeah, well, however you say that, this island and that island. <laughs> Alright, because it's some distance away from the Japanese bases and settlements, the southern half of Tulagi is expected to be the least defended. Hmm. Sure. This will be the preferred landing zone on the island. So land here, take this side, then this side will be heavily defended, I would gather. To the east, Tulagi says the island groups of Gavato and Tanabago. Yeah. The Japanese have constructed a seaplane base here and may have a sizable garrison defending it. This operation is the first real test for the Marine Corps, and we're on a tight deadline. Once both islands have been secured, our troops will immediately be transferred to support the invasion of Guadalcanal. Start game. Alright, so take all flag points on both islands. Yep. Ow. All Japanese units on Gavatu and Tobago must be destroyed, so we don't have to take the two bases over, but we'll need supplies, so we probably wipe this whole island out, okay? Uh, take all flag points, so this island has to be completely captured, and may or may not need to be completely destroyed as well. Uh, let's see, destroy float plane in nine turns, uh, they won't be able to do airstrikes, that will be helpful. We'll see if we could find him. I'm assuming he's going to take off from here. Complete the mission in 30 turns. What do we get? A light tank will be supplied. Uh, so it's probably added to our core forces either this round or the end of next round. So I'm not really worried about doing this in 30 turns. One thing about this game, so many secondary objectives don't actually give you anything. So even when you like try to complete them, the reward's so little that you know it's relatively it might not even be worth trying it uh, because you know you'll be sacrificing your troops more and the more troops you sacrifice the more uh, you know little like gold dots you have to spend all right so let's see what we get what does this game start us off with we get three marines oh two marines and marine raiders Ugh. Let's see what we can buy. Purchase. We have 14 po command points. Uh, I want two artillery. I want to get them on the ground right away. So now we have eight points, which means we could buy two more marines. I mean, we can buy U.S. infantry, but this is the Marine DLC, so why not buy all Marines? At least that's what we're going to try to do, even though they're almost double the infantry price. Alright, purchase and deploy. And purchase and deploy. 
And right now we have... I'm not even going to bring... Yeah. I'm not even going to bring the Raiders. I'm just going to hold these two points in reserve. And if we have to drop them, we will drop them. Because most likely we'll, we will get more points as this mission goes on. Alright. I'm ready. Alright, let's do it. We got some. We got aircraft carrier with one ship. So basically, gambling that. I could find the seaplane and take it out. If we can take the seaplane out, we won't have to worry about any Japanese aircraft this whole mission, uh, which will help. Alright, well that was a fast Japanese mission. Uh, there is probably enemy artillery, any aircraft. Uh, and we just got in there. And I know... And the seaplane is nowhere to be found. These guys will be in supply next time since the supply ship is now uh, close. Uh, crap. That's okay. That'll do it for this turn. Yeah, unmoved units. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yes. No hits. Alright. We just, we just got 10 more points to spend. No luck finding the seaplane. So much for the Korean workers. Yeah, we'll move after them. These guys are gonna have to wait a little bit because they're all yellow and this guy is orange. They will not be good in combat. aircraft gone and this we only have five turns left to find the seaplane and I have no idea where it's at oh it was a good good attack We have maximum command points, so now we could uh, drop off the other team on the other island. Alright, this guy will capture it. And now we should be in better supply since we just uh, took over one of their little islands. I mean, one of their little bases. These guys will stay here. You guys can sleep this round. I'm gonna put that to sleep. Now 
I'm still looking for that seaplane. Still no idea where it's at. Alright. We're probably gonna hold off a couple more turns. Because this island is gonna be heavily defended. We could probably drop like maybe five. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We'll need artillery. That's a hundred points and three command. We might have to go U.S. infantry. This Marines just cost so much money. Like we're talking two Marines. It's 140. Artillery. We're at 250. It only gives us uh, 50 points. And that will not be enough to take that island unless we go U.S. Infantry. Uh, we'll think about it for next turn. Alright, basically everyone here except for our airplane. Ah, oh, we found it. We found the float plane. We might be able to destroy it. It's going to be real close. Alright, let's go get them. Oh, it's going to be real close. But we're not going to move up. We're going to wait back here. Because there is a bunker there. Right, we'll send two marines down there. The artillery should be able to reach. We'll probably just leave this artillery piece here for right now. Because I think it can bombard anything that's over there. Yeah. Good plan. Stay there, float plane. Oh, I think we might get it. Complete, let's say, destroy the enemy float plane in nine turns. Okay, I think we might be able to get that. Alright, we're going to stay right there. Perfect. These guys will still hold off. And I think in about turn 10, I should be ready for uh, this island over here. We have one supply ship. have been shot down. Lack of aerial reconnaissance will prevent the Japanese from calling any airstrikes. Excellent. And now this is going to have to get back to the carrier. Oh yeah, we suppressed the hell out of him. Alright, that will be taken care of next turn. That is dangerous, but if they come out, they will lose all of their entrancement damage. So, uh, I think it was worth it. Oh. They came out of their entrenchments. Ooh, they must have been... Are they heavy? Alright, the Navy has sent us two destroyers. Once they're in range of this aisle, we will drop some troops off. 
Oh, there were Marines too. Man, they did a lot of damage. And we are going to move these guys. Oh, I'll just waste seven gold to heal up too. Alright, I want to bring this artillery piece over here to help them. This guy will come back. Alright. Eight points left. One artillery piece. Yeah. That should be enough. Damn, we have one supply ship. And we're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to hope that that one supply ship is enough to uh, take this. I mean, we'll have the two destroyers in to help us, as well as the artillery piece. And this float plane has to get out of here. Let's see what the AI is gonna do. Oh, they're gonna double team us. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Oh, we gotta pull those guys off the front. We gotta get our destroyers in position. Fire on these trenches. Shit. I should have pulled them off the line. That was a mistake. Kill these guys up next turn because they are hurting. Right, now let's see if we can get some guys unloaded. guys are in trouble. <laughs> that is a bad spot to be in. Alright, land. We probably don't need the airplane for the rest of the level, but we'll get the carrier over here with the destroyers just in case the enemy have like a sneak sub or something like that. We are going to take some losses. 
Oh, brutal. Holy crap. I just... I just got these guys stuck. Uh... They are just gonna get pounded. Nothing I can do. Alright, let's see what I got over here. Alright, these marines will advance on this barracks. These guys will finally heal for full. And we'll just continue to move our slow ass artillery down. Probably want our artillery around here so we can fire on the barracks and on this bunker. And then we'll take, uh, eventually take the last two points. ships around. We have 24 points for the Americans and we can't, I guess they separate the American nation and the Marine nation. Uh, so, eh, honest, doesn't even matter. I mean, I could waste their 24 points to replace their plane because that's the only uh, unit that they have on the level. See how much pound that we take over here. Holy crap. Big pounding. Big pounding. Oh, we just got raped. That was a mistake. to stay like this because we cannot attack. This position is too fortified. We just have to keep pounding them with the destroyers. Ooh, we have a foxhole and some Korean workers. That shouldn't be too bad. Probably heal up two just to give them another target. Maybe they'll split their attacks up. Yeah, I still don't want to attack. Definitely don't want to go there. Yeah, we're gonna hold everybody in place. I guess I really needed more supply ships on the other side. Are you for real? Okay, that's getting that's getting annoying. This the mortars are getting annoying. Found right. the foxhole. Alright, they should be out of the motor range and hopefully they'll recover, but we definitely need to take this for uh, supplies. So we're going to have to hope that our three artillery pieces, one artillery piece and uh, two destroyers are enough to uh, bombard uh, this side of the island. And we'll see what we got over here. Get back, heal up. 
you come up here and attack the Korean workers. Poor Korean workers, why don't you join us? don't want to attack but the foxhole will attack us anyway and I don't think you can attack I don't think you get a counter attack okay we'll take it we'll take it yeah cuz if not they're going to do their two damage anyway. Alright, these guys are going to heal up. These guys are going to move. I don't want to move these guys because they're orange. But we're going to have to just to get them out of any fire from over here because I don't know what is on uh, the east side of this island. I guess I can bring the carrier in and we should be able to get two artillery shots hopefully at this fox hole. Guys, eventually have to push south to take this objective. Yeah, I, mean, I could get the, might as well get the plane in the air. See if we can do some scouting of the east side of the island. I guess. Uh, he is going to get wrecked by this Japanese infantry. Both can reach. So we're gonna uh, we got more Japanese workers. These guys are gonna fully heal. Damn, these Korean workers are doing some damage to us. One more bunker down there. Oh, I probably should have moved them here. Maybe both of them could have reached. Is move him up here, him here, and then attack. And see if he can move here and fire. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta bombard these guys. It's the only way not to take super heavy losses. These guys can get their free attack in against the anti-aircraft gun. No, you guys just wait. You guys are still waiting. Next turn. Let's see what the Japanese do. And they healed their anti aircraft gun, okay. Yes. Again. Alright, we'll move him here. Him here. And then we'll finish him off. And then surround the anti-aircraft gun. Now we should be in good supply because we just took over one of their bases. And the objective on this island, uh, this east island, is to completely destroy everything. So we even got to go after the, the bunkers. There's, 
I'm assuming there's another. Let's see what else we can scout. Alright. These guys need to heal. Now they're flanked. That is okay, we're not really worried about the crane workers, and we're not moving these guys up yet. Uh, we're just going to stay out of range of the bunker until next turn. We should get two more artillery shots, then we'll flank the bunker, and that should be it for the bunker. Seriously? <laughs> You're trying to attack my destroyers? Uh, let's finish the. Let's try to finish this bunker off. Everybody attack! Perfect. And then we should get three more shots at this bunker next turn, and the bunker should go down easily. Then there's at least a bunker here, and at least one heavy infantry here who shot mortars at us. We know that much. Alright. Kind of the same thing going on over here with these bunkers. We'll move up, sure. Alright, and that'll do it for this episode.